Them as they're used to stopping the run, they want to stop the run first. Washington State's going to want to throw the ball a lot this afternoon. And they threw it again. The last pass was incomplete. This one is complete. Behind him was Wilson. He made the catch anyway. Marquise Wilson able to catch that football that was thrown behind him. And so Utah gives up the first even quote we know all about. The few times they're called on, they're very sure-handed. From the eye again, John White stutter stepping and then finally driven sideways and down by DeMonte Horton. Cornerbacks, according to Norm Chap. Play action and they'll flip the throw. And Hayes hit as he throws and that ball bounces because of getting hit. And smart play over there by Asiata trying to make sure it was a forward pass and not a live football as Rankin was the man who got to him. But the uh, H-back, Matthews, out of the backfield. Third and seven now facing Utah. They've got backs in for protection. They'll give it on the draw to White and that went absolutely nowhere. Well read on the play by Travis Long along with Mike Ledgerwood and they wrapped him up and Utah will be forced to punt. To dominate offensively against UCLA, it started out not in good shape this afternoon. Hayes gives to White and White goes nowhere as Hayes going to change things a little bit, the line of scrimmage. And the play action fake with Hayes rolling. Throwing, little comeback roots. And that ball is incomplete. Over on the coverage there was Nolan Washington. Reggie Dunn, the intended receiver. Draw territory for Norm Chow. And that's what he calls the draw to John White. And it's as well read. And he is wrapped up by Justin Clayton. And Utah will have to kick the ball away again. First and 10 for Washington. It's Washington State, I beg your pardon. Halliday, the quarterback. He's got Winston behind him. Will play action fake to Winston, and now he wants to throw, and he does to the sideline, and a low catch is made, but that pass is complete to Isaiah Barton. Uh, excuse me, it was Karstetter. Galvin, the ball carrier. Galvin's got a seam on the outside. He's gotten to the outside and bumped out of bounds before he can go for a big break. Trevor Riley was the man who just nudged it and has been an issue for Utah. They're starting at their own 13 this time. If they could turn the field, maybe things would go a little bit easier for them. They run the little fly sweep on first down and not much there for Reggie Dunn. Well strung out and just a little scrape along the line of scrimmage by Washington State. Any confidence in John Hayes see if he'll do something different. Play action, he's gonna look to throw. Hayes is back at the goal line and then gets knocked into the end zone. Hayes hung on to it too long. I think it was the one yard line, so I don't think he'll get the safety, but Adam Carper came in and just leveled it. Right at the goal line, Mike. Well, one of the problems here, if you're gonna have some confidence in your quarterback, he's gotta know that if he doesn't have something right away, the situation, he's backed up, he's gotta get rid of that football. And John Hayes right here, you fake, you don't have it right here, you just throw it away. He just holds on to it too long. Lone back is White, gets the call. Turns it upfield, little spin, and across the 25 to the 27, gains a few of the yards back. With a limited run game offense, yeah, uh, makes something. something happen. Throw, pass knocked down. A lot of pressure on Hayes. Adam Corker in there again. Number five with the big point. That's Rankin. And they'll go again to White, and White puts his head down and meets the teeth of that defense. Let's check your scores around and schedule around. Pick up a three on the play, second and seven. And again, Matthews the motion man. This time Hayes will look to throw. Got pressure, hit as he released. And that ball almost picked off. In and out of the hands, Matthews with the intended receiver. And it was Tyree Toomer, the man who almost picked it off. The 50 yard line on first and 10 after the interception. Let's see if they can dial something up. The toss to White following Asiata and now spins out of it. The 11-yard line for Washington State scores. To the near side comes Galvin. He's got some running room. And then flying across to bring him down for Utah was Eric Rowe. But he got about uh, 12 yards on the play, maybe nine yards on the play line for a new four-down series. Quick throw to the outside, complete to Marquise Wilson. Got a great block, taking down a little cut block on the corner there. Matt Martinez was the man who brought him down. Five, so gets hit by a big linebacker. He's going to go backwards. Pick up of eight. Galvin gets the call. Big opening for Galvin in the secondary. Utah's defense has to close on the play from behind. 
But Galvin, the ball carrier, right and lacing it on the stop. And you can't do too much to take a chance and give him a short field on a turnover here deep in your own territory. And White puts his head down and goes across the 10 yard line, maybe picks up a couple on the play. He's going to go three plays and take the ball, and the defense could get worn down at some point. John White again. Well read. Washington State has done as good a job as anybody stopping the U running game. Mizell and Sua. A half minutes left before the halftime. Utah changing formation and the change in the defensive set now for Washington State. Here comes that little fly sweep again, the end around, and it's well read, staying home on the play. Washington State just not going anywhere. Reggie Dunn running into Alex Hoffman Ellis, who did a nice job of holding his position to go on a fake punt, a pass from Selwood to Matthews. Halliday looks to throw now. Utah playing prevent, got all kinds of time, and now throws to the outside where the receiver was able to make the play right on the uh, end line, Ben upon tenths, right at the sideline, catches it, steps out of bounds. Time, Holiday does a nice job of finding the open receiver. Holiday stands in again and throws, and he's got a man complete down to the Utah 40 yard line. That catch made on the play. Bobby Ratliff, the man who pulled it in. Try to put a little bit more pressure and make sure this quarterback gets rid of the ball quick. 70 yards in Utah penalty so far. Now Wilson in a crossing rock gets a great block, and Marcus Wilson right down at about the six yard line. Rowe and Conroy Black combining, but a craft across, just across the middle. And Steven, a lot of confidence too. They haven't been able to do anything. Quarterback's thrown three interceptions, no points, and uh, to get a score here would be big for them for the second half. The throw to the end zone and cut for a touchdown. Touchdown, Washington State. Marquise Wilson. Steve, a lot because of the penalties. On second and four, guess who? White, stutter steps through, he's into the secondary, fumbles the football, it's on the turf. The ball is down and it's recovered by Washington State, and you gotta believe the weather involved in that one. There's a scrum for the football, but it is Washington State, I believe, that is gonna come up with it. And they did, again, other than that last drive, did a nice job, but he did get a touchdown uh, right before half. On second and four from the Utah 20, the blitz comes, and to the outside is White. Wrapped up and brought down to the ground by C.J. Mizell. Been really impressed with John White. Makes him one of the lead backs in the Pac-12. Ball's on the floor after the snap. And Washington State says they have it, and the officials agree. That snap came up, and, and Hayes never got a hand on it and has turned the ball over deep in Utah territory. Washington State with a big jump on the foot. I'm for Washington State, third and six in the Utah 20. Halliday throws, and a screen, complete, Marquise Wilson, and Wilson has a first down for Washington State. They got a little bubble screen, that laser screen, the left side for Washington State, trying to capitalize on the turnover by Utah. Galvin, stepping inside a block, gets down to the five-yard line of Utah. The yard field goal attempt coming, 12 of 14 for the field goal kicker, Fernie, on the season. That one is up and good, and 13. 15 for the season and a three-point lead for the Washington State Cougars. They lead Utah possibly all afternoon at the 45-yard line of Washington State now on first down. White behind the Asiata block and a nice job defensively of Corper who played off Asiata's block. 88 yards now for John White on 22 carries, a four-yard per carry average. And a give to him again. Tried to pop it outside, then stepped inside. Travis Long wrapping him up. He's going to get a little dose of John White between the tackles. Washington State came up to fill the gap. Great block on the outside. And White maybe gets a hard yard on the play before Long and Ledger would combine for the ball at the 13 yard line. Now the eye formation again. Moe eye stumbling, a little bit of problem with the footing. And now White has nowhere to go at all. Loses a yard or two on the play. Washington State leading it very well. Lorenzi and Sua were the ones who combined to stop you on that play. Trying to take the lead in a 10-10 football game. John Hayes looking to throw. Ball tipped at the line of scrimmage. And falls harmlessly short on third and six. And the 28, which means... Comes in here, they're a little worried about it. They thought he was going to be a great runner, runner to the sidelines, but he's just been fantastic running between the tackles. His strength for being a relatively small guy 
Uh, and again, Steve, I think what's really most important to me is Mike. But those lead blocks tonight just haven't been there. I, I, maybe it's a factor of defensive play, or maybe it's a factor of the footing. Hayes throws to the outside. Asiata with a reception. But he's going nowhere. Open field tackle made by Hoffman Ellis and brings him down. Another loss on that play. This afternoon and evening. There's a look at the penalty totals. 11.05 and it's reverse. Reverse coming from the 48 yard line. Still running room on the outside and now the halfback pass and it's complete. And it's a huge play for Washington State and they'll score. Washington State with Bobby Ratliff on the receiving end of that halfback pass. And Washington State in one play after the big return on the kickoff has added six with a PAT pending. Wow, quarterback. This team, team is down by 10 now. The redshirt freshman will roll to the near side and throw. He's got a man out here and a completion. That's Bobby Ratliff, who's on the receiving end of the touchdown a moment ago. Now they'll speed up the tempo of the offense as Wilson is in motion. They need 10 points, two scores to Washington State. They're dropping back to throw, looking. Halliday again got a receiver and has a first down. Utah giving a little cushion over there. Karstetter taking advantage of it. The Utah 40 yard line. Galvin is the running back, kept in for protection. Now they throw the screen to him. Galvin has some running room up the middle of the field, coming outside. And Galvin's still on his feet and has a first down for Washington State. So the Cougars moving the chains. Touchdown a moment ago. If this was three, it would be much different, Mike. Halliday throws for the end zone. Got a receiver and a touchdown. Karstetter got behind the defense, and with 3.14 left in this football game, PAT pending Washington State with a touchdown. If they get the PAT, they're within a field goal. Seven, they'll count it down. Hayes will let it run almost all the way down. And he snaps the football at the last second. White once again sticks his nose in and is driven back by Long with 1.49 left in the football game. They'll snap it, the toss to White. White secures the football, puts his head down, he's short. Toomer was the one who stopped him with 58 seconds remaining. Now Washington State will use their final timeout. So that means they're gonna sit back with eight guys. You've got all, all the underneath zones. Halliday throws for the outside, got a man open. Ground was given by Conroy Black. Karstetter has the football, but Black gave ground on the play. He was so worried about hitting the receiver and trying to knock him off. Halliday oh. pulls it down, throws long, got a man behind the defense, and he's got the football. Unbelievable. Karstetter got behind the defender, and he's out of bounds at about the Utah five with 23 seconds remaining. Spotted it for a first down. The clock should be started. It should be going right now. Hey, you're in Pullman. You know better than that, Mike. Hold clock operator. There's the quarterback trying to keep it alive, throwing. Is that pass complete at the one? It is, it is to Wilson. Clock continues to roll. It's not a touchdown with nine, eight. Clock continues to roll. Seven, six, five. Now the question is, you're watching the state, Steve. You got out of the one yard line. Nothing, a little bit more than just a BAT. And Fernie, who's only missed twice all season. About ball security by the holder. Got the snap down. And kick this up. And this one's going to overtime, folks. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've sat up here and said, okay, the game's uh, pretty much out of reach.